structure of the atom. In chapter 3, we have learned that atoms and molecules are fundamental units of matter. Do you remember? But is an atom really an indivisible part as proposed by Dalton? In this chapter, we will learn about subatomic particles and various models to explain arrangement of these particles in an atom. So, are you ready to journey into the world of atoms? Seat belts on! Here we go! Charged particles in matter. For understanding the nature of charged particles in matter, how about carrying out the following activities? Activity Rub a glass rod with a silk cloth and bring the rod near an inflated balloon. Observe what happens. On rubbing two objects together, they become electrically charged. Where does this charge come from? This charge is due to the subatomic particles within the atom. It was known by 1900 that the atom was not a simple indivisible particle but contained at least one subatomic particle, the electron. And this was identified by the grand old intelligent man, J.J. Thomson. Further, the discovery of another subatomic particle, which had a charge equal in magnitude but opposite in sign to that of the electron. It was given the name of proton. In general, an electron is represented as E minus and a proton as P plus. The mass of a proton is taken as one unit and its charge as plus one. The mass of an electron is considered to be negligible and its charge is minus one. अगर आप अपने सिलेबस के सारे चैप्टर्स इस फॉर्मेट में देखना चाहते हैं, तो हमें डिस्क्रिप्शन में दिए गए नंबर पर कॉल करें। Thomson's model of an atom. After the discovery of electrons and protons and discovery of natural spontaneous radioactivity in 1896, Sir J.J. Thomson proposed the first model of an atom in 1898. This model is known as J.J. Thomson's model or the plum pudding model of an atom. Funny name. He proposed that an atom has a spherical shape of radius approximately 10 raised to minus 10 meters in which the positive charge is uniformly distributed. The electrons are embedded into it uniformly so as to give the most stable electrostatic arrangement. In this model, the atom is visualized as a pudding or cake of positive charge with raisins, that is electrons, embedded into it. This model is also called raisin pudding model or watermelon model. Hmm, these guys sure love their food. Well, the mass of atom is assumed to be uniformly distributed over the atom. This model was able to explain the overall neutrality of the atom but failed to explain origin of atomic spectrum and alpha particle scattering experiment. Rutherford's experiment Now imagine this time all the scientists, physicists, Everyone trying to experiment and understand the atom more. Rutherford did that too and in an attempt to verify various models of atom proposed by Dalton and Thomson, he carried out alpha particle scattering experiments in 1909. Radioactive source of alpha particle was placed in the cavity of lead block. 
the alpha particles emitted from this source were passed through lead slit system to give a fine beam of alpha particles. This beam of alpha particles was bombarded on a thin gold foil of thickness 100 nanometer. The gold foil was surrounded by fluorescent screen of zinc sulfide. Whenever alpha particles would strike the screen, a tiny flash of light was produced at that point. अगर आप अपने सिलेबस के सारे चैप्टर्स इस फॉर्मेट में देखना चाहते हैं, तो हमें डिस्क्रिप्शन में दिए गए नंबर पर कॉल करें। Observations and conclusions of Rutherford's experiment. Rutherford observed that most of the alpha particles passed through the gold foil without deflection. Some of the alpha particles were deflected through a small angle less than 90 degrees. A very few number of alpha particles were deflected by a large angle greater than 90 degrees. And a very, very few, that is one alpha particle out of 12,000 alpha particles was deflected through an angle of 180 degrees, that is, it rebounded. Now, chemists love to think, research, and think a little bit more. So, he observed, and depending upon the observations, Rutherford drew the following conclusions. First, the atom consists of large empty spaces, that is, they are extremely hollow. Second, the positively charged alpha particles get repelled and deflected by the positive charges in the atom. Rutherford called this positively charged space of an atom as nucleus. Third, the volume occupied by the nucleus is negligibly small as compared to the total volume of the atom. The radius of the atom is about 10 raised to minus 10 meters called as angstrom unit and that of nucleus is 10 raised to minus 15 meters called as fermi unit. अगर आप अपने सिलेबस के सारे चैप्टर्स इस फॉर्मेट में देखना चाहते हैं तो हमें डिस्क्रिप्शन में दिए गए नंबर पर कॉल करें ऐसे ही और एजुकेशनल वीडियोस देखने के लिए हमारे चैनल होम रिवाइज को सब्सक्राइब करें